Hi guys, I'm not going to do an intro, but if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. If you guys want to read this without any blur or cat logo, they're available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> oh, totally forgot he woke up. What, what took you so long? I was so worried. <sighs> I'm sorry I made you wait. No. I'm sorry I made you wait. Oh, she's crying. I'm sorry for making you wait 10 years. I missed you so much. Marry My Husband, Episode 48. Why didn't you tell me? I found this letter on your desk. Uh, this is... Why didn't you tell me that you knew me from college? And that you witnessed my death? And that you also died? How long were you planning to keep it a secret from me? Did you want to, me to go on living without any knowledge of these events? Uh, have you... Also come back? Yes, it's so interesting <laughs> that we both traveled back in time to the same day in 2009. Hmm. How was your previous life, Juwan? I want to know what your life was like for the 10 years you were married to Minwa. I'm not sure why this suddenly popped into my mind, but one day I was craving noodles. I had very little money since all my paycheck went towards paying off our debt. So after debating what to do, I decided to buy a packet of instant noodles instead. But Minwan and my mother-in-law walked in on me. Hey, what's a smell? Ugh. Are you having instant noodles? Oh, I was just craving them. Shame on you, you eating instant noodles by yourself, when you should be thinking about what to cook for your husband. Ugh! Forget it. I'm gonna order some noodles for myself. What do you want, Mom? Oh, that shrimp we had last night was pretty good. You mean the deep-fried shrimp and spicy sauce? Hey, g you're full, right? Since you ate a whole bowl by yourself. Yeah. I thought he'd come back to his old self if I, I just hung in there. I told myself he wasn't a bad person. Phew, I am full. You can have the rest. I love some especially for you. That he was actually kind. He's with mm, the fact that she thinks this is okay. By the time I realized I was wrong, it was too late. So when I got a second chance, I tried to change my fate and live a different life. But I actually ended up messing things up. Because I came from the future. I was able to avoid bad things from happening to me, but they would eventually ha happen to in another situation. And when I changed my fate, I ended up changing someone else's fate as well. So I was scared that you had died in my stead. <gasps> I'm determined to protect you this time, Juwan. If that means living out our tragic fate, your tragic fate, then I'll do it. And even if there's a different fate in store for you, I won't just sit by and let it unfold. <laughs> Thank you. If my misfortune passes on to you, Ji Hyuk, I won't just sit by and watch either. Uh, still there, even though it's late. Ding! We're closed for the day. Huh? Hyun, 
Are you getting off of work now? <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of things to take care of. <laughs> There's some leftover pudding. Come on in. Here you go. Enjoy. Ta-da. That looks so good. Flun. You're the best, Mr. Bake. Ah, ba -bum, ba -bum. Thank you for this treat. Ja. Oh. Shung. Hyun. Oh, it's so, so, so good. I almost died and went to heaven. Oh, she, she is so dramatic. But then I remembered that if I died, I wouldn't be able to finish the pudding, so I came back to life. <laughs> really? What a sweet compliment. How is this delicious pudding still available? Yeah. Am I dreaming right now? This deserves 10 hearts. No, 100 hearts. <laughs> Feel free to drop by whenever you have to work late at the office and you're craving something sweet. There's always one left. <laughs> you made it for Miss King? <laughs> Didn't you? You should probably give up. There are articles about her dating Mr. Yu, the head of our department. <laughs> Plus, you're super popular with the ladies at the office. I actually gave up hope a long time ago. I saw the way Jiwon and Mr. Yu were looking at each other. There was complete trust between them. So I knew I didn't stand a chance. Then can I ask why you still set this pudding aside for her? Just because I gave up hope doesn't mean I no longer have feelings for her. This is all I can do for Jiwon. There's a sad story behind this pudding. I wonder if it's okay for me to eat it. Please enjoy the pudding. <laughs> I know Jiwon's never going to come. He's such a handsome fool. He's so welcoming and friendly that it's making me want to stop by again tomorrow chug 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 all oh, the train i was like what <laughs> i like chug 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 as in like chug that beer i'm kidding college days <laughs> it was my first day back at work after getting discharged from the hospital I'm pretty tired but i don't remember my commute being this peaceful no one shoving me from behind huh Mr. Lee, what are you doing here? Da -dun. I've also decided to take the subway from now on. It's much more convenient. He looks really uncomfortable. Oh, right, Ms. Yang. Check this out. I only used them a few times, so they're good as new. A, a me pod? A subway commute can be pretty dull, so why don't you try listening to some music? These earbuds have great sound qualities. Listen to this. Oh, that song. To you, I'm just a younger guy, but that's all I am. To you. <laughs> can't sing. Sorry, guys. I can't sing to you guys. It's one of my favorite songs. Oh, my gosh. They're bonding. Oh, huh? What was wrong? I don't want to listen anymore. Uh, here. It's a gift from me to you, Ms. Yang. I rarely use it. I don't need it. Take it back. I don't need it either. Just throw it away if you have no use for it. <laughs> what? Hey, I'm being serious. Wait, don't you have to transfer here, Ms. Yang? Uh. <sighs> See you tomorrow. <sighs> I was in such a hurry that I took the meat pod with me. I should return it to him. It's a song I was listening to earlier. Oh. Plus, who's that? Wait, why does she look so scared? Dun -dun. Finally. How have you been, honey? What is her husband? Is is he her ex-husband now, or is that still her husband, but they're going through the divorce? He looks like he looks like he wants to hurt her. Oh no, please. 
Jiwon, someone come help her. Oh my gosh, I'm so... Uh, look, the Remarried Empress, I uploaded the episode yesterday. That episode really, really made me so mad because I'm so mad at uh, Grand Duke Kaufman uh, for putting a potion to King Henry and making him fall in love with Carissa. And now Kaufman is in love with Rasha. And like, it's a whole poop show over there. If you guys want to check it out, it's over there. I just posted it. But this one here, now we're worried. Okay, once, one, we are excited that, you know, G Yuk, Mr. Yu, is awake and that they talk things through and that they now realize they're from the future, coming back to fix things. So it's great for G Won and Mr. Yu. But now, oh, no. Uh, I hope, I hope this guy doesn't hurt and unalive. <sighs> okay, right. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!